All right, quick fix time here. Uh, I love the DJI box for the DJI Phantom 4. Works awesome, all my stuff goes in here. I got my filters, I got my machine, controller, all the extra batteries, some props, some spare props, etc. However, I would like it if I could transport this guy without the box. So just the box and the controller, let's say. So I did that, I threw it in my backpack and headed up the mountain. When I got up to the top of the mountain, I pulled it out of my backpack and one of these little protrusions here caught and snapped off. And actually two of them, one on, one on two separate motors. So I couldn't really fly with any certainty that day and it meant a hike for, well I had good views but basically not, no flying. So I had to go and I had to purchase some spare parts. And while they weren't expensive, it's still inconvenient to have to buy these spare motor mounts and mount them, etc., etc. So, what I thought was, I want to build something to protect that inside the backpack. Now, you can buy metal motor mounts, and that's great, but I thought, wouldn't it be great to be able to put something on there that A, wouldn't void your warranty, and B, would take care of the problem of having these little plastic protrusions break off. So, I got online and I found some fairly inexpensive, I think I got these for $10 or $12 for four, uh, two clockwise and two counterclockwise rotating propellers. I got those off Amazon Canada. I can send the, put the link in the description. Anyway, these are just a cheap propeller. So what I'm proposing to do with these is cut the blades off and just use the hubs. And of course I'll have to mark them appropriately, two black and two silver, so I know which ones they go on. And then those will end up being my protectors for the hubs. So let's get started and cut these wings off. Okay, so I'm going to start with my handy side cutters. And I'm just going to clip off these blades right off of the hub. And I'm not worried about damaging the blade or the hub because I'm going to probably damage both in the end. So, let's see what these side cutters will do. And you're right, I probably should have got some bigger side cutters. These blades are pretty tough. That speaks to the uh, quality, I suppose. Oh, no licky there. They just snap right off. So that's good. So we'll make some indentations in the other one and get it busted off. And for your benefit, I'm going to speed up the rest of this video after I get this one off because this is going to be a bit tedious to watch me do this all day. Come on. All right, there we go. That's all I'm looking for right there is the hub. And of course, if any of you want these for spares or something, let me know and I'll mail them off to you. You gotta pay the shipping though this time, okay? All right, let's speed this up and get some bigger side cutters and get this job done. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. I have four of these guys. Just the hubs, that's all I wanted. Uh, I'll have to sort out now, of course, which ones go on which uh, motors. But before we do that, I'm going to take them out to the shop and just grind these little guys off on the wheel real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've now taken and cleaned up. Come on, camera. There we go. Focus. There we go. So I've focused, I've focused and I've cleaned up the edges of these, so they're a bit smoother now. So I won't have that issue with poking myself and cursing my previous self. Here we are. And I've also gone ahead and I've put black dots, well they kind of look like eyes now, don't they? On two of them. Those correspond to the helicopter. Of course, you've got your two motors. All right, this this way maybe, back up just a little bit. Uh, this motor and this motor have black dots on them, these have none. So, pretty obvious now that the black dot caps go on the black dotted motors. And the ones without dots go on the other two. And, voila, I've created... And I'm probably not the first, now that I've said that, but I've created a motor mount protector 
for the DJI Phantom 4, and I believe this will work on 3 as well. I don't know, I've never owned a 3. So, there you go. Like and subscribe if you'd like, and catch you next time. Thanks guys. Bye bye.